Hello, everybody. Welcome to Adventure. We are on route. As it's me, Spot, and Sproga battling. Picnicker Elmo would like to battle. I choose the battler. She sends out Goldeen. I send out Arctai. Ice Beam. Hollywag Agility I beam through that rain dance on Pollywag. It hits and it does enough damage. Blizzard. There isn't enough mage for Blizzard. Ice Beam. Tide gains experience. I give our tie a rest. It's too dangerous for slash, it is dangerous for blast. This ain't the area for blast. Zapta. See the fisherman, he's down 
a little bit more from his spot than usual. Fisherman Andrew would like to battle. Go Zapta! Area wasted. Critical hit. Magic carpets taken down. There's magic carp. Area wasted. During this time, the bird keeper and picnicker were watching. And bird keeper Sebastian would like to battle his third battle. Unless he only battled them. I think he didn't choose to battle me. So this will be his second battle. There is the Ember by Flames. And Blast is watching. I tell Blast that... It's too dangerous for you to use your moves on the dock. Last time, you did cause some damage. As it is, we do see the area still damaged from Blast Burn. Pidgeotto is down by two embers. One on Pidgey and one on Pidgeotto. Found the Carbos in the cave once while I was speculating. Picker, Nicker. Alma would like to battle. There is the flame to over. And Flames likes Spot too much right now to get in frustration and dislike her whenever she uses it. There is the frustration. There is the water gun, critically. Polywag did not like frustration. There is the flamethrower. It lands and hits Polywag, thankfully. There is the ember. It hits, not very effective, but then it affects taking down Horsey.
It's the catching. You never know what you can catch. Fisherman Andrew sends out a magic harp. There's the ember by magic harp. Being embered goes down by flames. Sends out another magic card. She tells flame frustration. It was too dangerous in the water. There is the ember. I could have went two or either ways. Flames could have almost drowned. Check this area for a Pokemon. It's Venonet. Spot does not want Venonet at the moment. She tells Flames Ember. Super effective. Down goes Venonet. Well, Pidgey appears. We already have Pidgey. But we may do research in catching another Pidgey on the route. It may have been maybe female too. I mean, we could have caught that one, but we did not. Another one pops up. I give it a shot. Thunder wave it. There is a critical hit. Not very effective. Throw a Pokeball. Have to be careful. It was so close. There is the Roland. <clears throat> Pidgey pulls it off enough. But Zapdo doesn't really go flying. Pidgey fl flies away though. Zapdo glides a little. There is Oddish. Area Wasted. Mm -hmm. 
There is a male Pidgey. Dropek. We already have wings evolved fully. Oh, I already caught a venom that. Okay. Mm. Area ways. Damn battle. Hold up. Wait a minute. We won't see. We will get into that battle. Found a Carbos caving, sparkling once. Picnicker Alma would like to battle. She says, Go, Leafna. Leafna, exhausted. She calls Vine Whip. Down goes Goldeen. It's the Vine Whip. As it is, Picnicker, she was walking with us, and the fisherman is walking with us. And during that moment, secret spot we do cut at. Now, they were watching us battle Venonet, Pidgey, and Oddish. Camper Justin comes out. Go Zap though. He says go Nidoran. Shockwave it. Shockwave it. I was going to tell Zap that it's a thunder wave. You 
say ow. He says to me, since you've used the special move cut, if you beat me, I'll let you get my item, special item. I tell him, hey, how's it going? We battled already. And as it is, he says, oh, okay, then you can't get the item. But I'll battle somebody else who has cut. And Spot does cut. And proves to him against the normal tree that she knows cut. But before that ends up happening, Fisherman Andrew steps in and says he wants a battle first. Sproga steps forth and says, I'm the third one. Hex does lick. As Sproga sends out Hex. Hex just floated above water and disappeared. Doran sinking in water. She calls it Nightshade. Shows it's powerful enough to take down Magic Card. After a damage. She tries Nightshade on a fully healed one. No dice yet. He does lick on Magic Carp, taking down Magic Carp. As it gets down to this, Rocker comes out of nowhere. Electricity is my specialty. I don't know anything about Pokemon, but of the sea, though. But he comes down and says there are two Snorlaxes sleep up the road. What would we do? They say that we'll take care of them. Well, if it's a female, once a female, we'll catch it. And as it is, the trainers say, we want to come see this. And right now, they are following us. Bird Keeper decides to stay. That was previously battling. Got the picnicker, camper, and rocker decide to join us and fishermen. Is the shadow punch and 
As it is, everybody's nervous about facing the rocker dude. Out of all the the trainers that are around this area normally. There's Electrode. Unplugged. Luca, the rocker. I'm searching for a moonstone. Have you found one? Sends out flame. Got rain. Mail. Where is the amber? Where's Nidorino? She pulls the card of a tract on Nidorino. Flames does attract and Nidorino is attracted. Will Nidorino attack? Yes, use the horn attack on flames anyway. Rain, she shakes it off. Impressive strength. There's the ember. Then Reno hangs in the exhausted, still in love with flames. And is immobilized by love. There is the ember. She does not go for it with flames to do frustration in the arena. She says, ow. She says, you can grab the item now. And it is an iron. As it is, Sproga plays the pokey flu. Snorlax is woken up. There's a grumpy rage. Now, they're waiting for another battle. She asks, is our Pokédex if it's male or female? And it tells us male. Which is a disappointment. Tells Hex curse. She says, Seal her. Here's a challenge. Go seal her. Snorlax is hurt by the curse. Zilla is loafing around. She calls Ice Beam. Zilla went, I mean, Snorlax went to sleep. Snorlax's chest of berry woke it up from sleep. Armed and ready. Scylla ignore, ignores orders as she calls another ice beam. There's the water pulse. Major damage. And Snorlax takes it and is confused by chance. Snorlax uses Snore, but it doesn't work. Snapping out of the confusion. 
Snorlax is hurt by curse. She tells Steeler to go to sleep. Snorlax snapping out of confusion, going ahead, but going down to curse. Well, Sila is fast asleep. Snorlax made a yawn and returned to the mountain. Other Snorlax is still asleep. is my specialty. I don't know a thing about the Pokemon of the city, though. Dr. Ruto left the battle of the spot. Dr. Ruto left the battle the flamethrower. That's the flame. This flame grows level secretly. And he's trying to learn fire. Not learn slash. I'm close. Another male. She sends out flames. There is the chat. Still does headbutt on her. She felt that, but she withstood it. There's the flamethrower. Where is the yawn? Headbutt happens and Flames is put to sleep.
Everybody is impressed by Snorlax there. And we say that, well, I say, and you see why Sproga had to use Curse on Snorlax. She sends out picks, and there's the Ember. Snorlax is like unaffected and does rest. Snorlax regains health and the Chesto Berry wakes itself up from sleep. There is the headbutt. Major damage. She tells Pix to do roar. And Snorlax gets it packing. As it ends up being a couple Jess and Gina come running down to see us. As they see Snorlax packing and they heard the roar. As it could have been, they could have been watching from the distance. She sends out flames and picks. Flames fast asleep. Helping hand Nidoran male, and then he's ready to help Nidoran female. How adorable! Pix does Ember, she is down almost, but she does bite together with Nidoran male. Pix takes it. Spot called the flamethrower, but flames is still fast asleep. Where is the horn attack? Flames still fast asleep. Where is the ember? And the burn by Pix. Wow, to be burned by a nine tails. Down goes Nidoran Mel and he tried his best. Now they didn't know that three of us were battling because of Snorlax being in the way. Broga says show battle. And he says if I win, I'm going to propose to Gia. Gia and Jess.
She tells Lapo to use Parish Slong, but realizes that it's too dangerous when there's three Pokemon left. Lapo is poisoned anyway. Huge determination and decision as Lapo is poisoned. Male Nidoran is ready to help male female Nidoran. They need to take down Nerans before the parish count. Nerran now does helping hand. There's the confused Ray. Double kick, super effective. But we don't know this this but we do see the Nidoran kick Sila hard. Sleep. Lapo goes down. And there it is. Sila Nidoran. Scylla wakes up, wakes up and pretends not to notice, but Scylla doesn't know that she's in Paris song. Leafna tries her hardest, his hardest, I should say his, to do Vine Whip, but no luck. Nidoran hurts himself. There is the bite, and they're smart. Scylla goes down first. Wow. Nidoran goes down. Male. Nidoran female goes down. Sproga is out of Pokemon and Scylla fainted first. So it's Sproga lost. As it is, Sproga will be chilling here until the next turn. We're just going to wrap up this last battle. Fisherman Elliot. Oh, 
this is double slot. Critical hit. Full blown double slap too. Polly Wag was not having Nan come out and intimidate. There is the bite. Sends out Horsey. She tells Nine Bite. Horsey goes down. Fisherman Elliot sends out Shelter. There is the bite by Nine. Nine gains boost and grows level secretly. Sorry, stats got skipped there. I accidentally pressed it twice. And there is the bite. There are the stats though for now. Right, as it is, we will be going to a new episode. Okay. Thank you for watching. To tune in and watch more playlist stuff, go to playlist on my page or library. Thank you for watching.